Okay, welcome back, EENG460, and today we're going to look at uh, shift right and shift left. Now here I have a demo program, and again we have our comments up top. Demo program, shifting left and right, file name, shifting.s. Um, let's see, there is my data segment. I don't have anything really unusual there. I just have two ASCII character strings. Notice they are not null terminated, but I do have backslash n for a carriage return after both of them. Two of them here, one of them down here. The first string is referred to as title. Second one is NT. Now title and NT kind of represent the offset in bytes from the beginning of our data segment. And recall, where does the data segment begin? Well, it begins at uh, 1001 quad zero. So this guy would effectively be zero because it's zero offset from there and that's where this string would begin. Now this guy right here is going to be offset from 1001 quad zero and how many bytes is it going to be offset? Well, it's going to be offset 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. There's no null characters. So yeah, this guy's going to be offset 16 bytes from the base address of the data segment, which is hex 1001, 1001, and then quad 0. Okay. All right, so there's your data segment. Next thing is your text segment, all right, all down to here. Now, the text segment, you have your text preprocessor directive. Then you've got a global preprocessor directive. And you note there are processor direct, preprocessor directives by the dot right here. We're declaring a label, and then we're using the label right there to identify the beginning of my main routine. Notice the last two lines of all programs are loading v0 with 10, calling syscall, which tells the simulator that we are done executing. And then also, I've got normal termination. I load vi. I do a load immediate on v0 with 4, and then I put the address of the string I want to print out, which is nt, normal termination, and then I call syscall to terminate the program. And then really, this is uh, the body of interest right here. Well, we know all these commands right here. This guy's going to do a load immediate. We know load immediate is a pseudo command that basically loads the upper immediate of a register, and then it or immediates with the uh, remaining 16 bits. So we're going to load quad f quad f into t0. Now this guy right here, SLL, is shift lo left logical. We're going to take quad F quad F and we're going to shift it left, which means we're going to zero pad on the right. So after we shift left one bit, we're going to take T0, which is quad F quad F, shift left one, which is going to move all the bits to the left, and store the result in T0. Okay, this is your target register. This is your, actually this is your source register. There really is no target register. And then there's your destination register. And here we're just shifting one bit. Now we could change that to two, three, four, shift as many bits as we want. And I'll let you play with that. But yeah, if I take this quad F quad F and I shift left, what am I going to get? Well, I'm still going to get F, 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 F. But this last F, I'm going to get a zero coming in. It's going to be one, 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 zero. It's going to be an E. And then if I shift it again, that E is going to turn into a C. And then that C is going to turn into an eight. And then that eight is going to turn into, it's going to disappear and we're going to have an F. So let's go ahead and try to run this. No, well, actually, down here we have the same thing, but this time we're shifting right. All right. So let's uh, load this guy. Simulator file. Let's reinitialize and load. And this guy here is shifting. And there's my program. Notice the load immediate command gets converted to a load upper immediate and or immediate. It's a pseudo command. Uh, you know, commands are 32 bit long, but since you've already got 32 bits here, you need some bits for this, you need some bits for that, which is means you got to use two MIPS commands to get all that into one, all that one into two. And here's all my shift left. Well, let's just go ahead and execute this. I'm going to hit F10. And at that point right there, I should have loaded T0 with quad F quad F. Let's go check that out. Where's T0? T0 is right there, quad F quad F. Right, let's go back to our text. And let's hit F10 a couple more times. Let's shift it once and see what quad F quad F becomes. Oh, notice it became, yeah, F, F quad F, 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 E. We shifted left once. If we shift that left again, all right, let's see what that becomes. It was quad F, 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 E. Now it's quad F, 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 C. We shift it again. Uh, let's see. It was quad F, 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 C. Now it's quad F, 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 E. Right? And now if we shift it left again, we're probably going to have four zeros down there. Okay. So let's come back to here. We'll shift it left again. Okay. And there you go. Yeah, we're basically shifting all those ones out, aren't we? We shift it left again. This F right here should probably turn into an E. Okay. Let's shift it again. 
Go back and look at the registers, and there it is, yeah, E. Now this E is probably going to become a C if we shift it again. And let's do that. Shift it again. And lo and behold, it became a C. Now that C is probably going to become an 8. And let's uh, hit F10. And there you go. Let's see if it's an 8. And it is. Yeah, but you notice here, as we shifted left, we also preserved the sign bit. So it's like we took negative numbers that were really, really small, negative 1, and now we've got big negative numbers. So it's almost like we're taking a negative number and almost like multiplying it by 2. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 4, negative 8, and so forth. Now, I'll let you figure that one out. All right, so the next block of code, we're going to load TI with quad, or T1 with quad F, quad F again. All right, let's double check that, T1. There's T1, it's got quad F, quad F. And now what I'm going to do is shift right. So I've got quad F, quad F, which is negative 1, but the minute I shift right, I'm going to shift a 0 into my most significant bit, which is going to change that to a positive number. So let's uh, shift right logical one bit and see what quad F, quad F became. Yeah, that F got moved right, we shifted in a zero, and it became a 7 FFF quad F, all right? Now, what happens if we shift left again? I believe that 7 should turn into a 3, and there it did. And now if we shift again, that 3 is going to turn into a 1. Let's go back and look. Turned into a 1. Now, if I shift left again, that 1's going to move to the next bit, and it's going to become a 0. And we're just going to have 3 Fs followed by quad F. If I hit F10, notice what I've got. I've got three Fs followed by quad F. And I shift that again. That F's going to be a 7. That's going to be a 3, a 1, and then back to an F. All right. Hit that. Oh, there's my 7. Let's shift it again. That should be a 3. There's my 3. I shift it again. Now it should be a 1. Let's go back to here. It's a 1, and now I should get, uh, when I shift that guy left, it's gonna be, that's going to turn into a 0, and we're just going to get an F, two Fs, and then quad F. Two Fs, and then quad F. There you go. So what we're doing is we took negative 1, then made it a really big positive number, and then by continually shifting, um, shifting right here, we um, kept dividing it down by 2. Right? And that's what we're doing, shifting right. So now if we do it one more time, what do we get? Well, I think that F should probably turn into a 7. So, yeah, we're getting smaller and smaller numbers here. And then at this point, uh, let's see. Well, let's bring up our console window. And notice there's nothing in the console window at this point. Yeah, let's do that. Let's play the same game. I'll, I'll make that console window real small down here. And I'll kind of bring this guy back over. And then if we uh, execute this, we're going to load V0 with 4, which says I'm getting ready to print a string. What string am I printing? Well, I am using 4097, which is uh, hex 1001. I'm putting that in the upper 16 bits of 1, and then which is going to put 1001 in the upper 16 bits. And then I'm going to put that guy, which is 16, remember 16 bytes off the base of the data segment, into the lower part using an OR. And then when I call syscall at this point right here, drum roll, we're going to get something in our console window. <laughs> Hey, we got it, normal termination. Then if I hit F10 a couple times, the program stops. All right? So that's shift left and shift right. Okay? Shift right basically divides down, and then shift left, well, you can kind of think of it as multiplying up, except in the course if it's negative or something, then you got to look into that. All right, we're good. I'm going to stop there. Hope you enjoyed the video.